Hey guys, what's going on? It's Salvage here, and today we're going to be talking about the top five best moments in The Flash season one and two. I want to do three, but there's no really memorable moments that I think besides Barry revealing himself as Savitar. Hopefully you guys like this new face cam, and if you do, go ahead and click that like button. I'm trying to upload as much as possible. I'm trying to get content out for you guys as soon as possible, so go ahead and click that like button. It helps me, and it also gives you guys new content. Starting off with number five is Flashpoint. When Flashpoint happened, it was the most shocking and... and unbelievable thing I've ever seen. I did not expect them to do that. I thought Barry was just gonna, you know, keep living uh, and everything was gonna be normal until Flashpoint. Now, I'm not gonna talk about what happened during Flashpoint because personally, I don't like that season that much. Season three was a very bummy season in my opinion. It wasn't that good. It was decent, but it wasn't great. You know, I wanted, I expected more from the season, but Flashpoint was definitely a shocker. It was one of the best moments of the entire season and one of the best teasers and cliffhangers Ever. It was it was awesome and I absolutely love that part of the show where they did that and I guess it makes sense Barry's motivation why he did it it made sense he just lost his dad and he wants a family and he wants to start over so I liked Flashpoint a lot and I thought they could have did better in season three but season two finale was great number four is Wells killing Cisco when Cisco figures out that he is reverse flash I did not expect that you know it, it was episode 15 which in my opinion is the best episode of the entire seasons like all of the seasons combined episode 15 of season one was absolutely amazing with weather wizard and then Cisco figuring out and then Cisco dying dude oh oh Oh, the tears. That was sad. That was a really sad moment because, you know, season one, definitely nothing could be top season one. If season four top season one, that'd be amazing, but I don't think anything will top season one. It was just so good and so great. And when Cisco figured it out, it was an emotional part of the entire season because you know that these two have history and Wells even said, you're like a son to me. It was, it was, oh man, that was a really sad moment in the entire show. Number three is Zoom enters. When, when Zoom came to Earth One and everything just went crazy, I did not, I, I, I thought Barry was just going to at least do something good. I thought he was going to defend himself against Zoom. It didn't happen. It really did not happen. The fight between the two, I mean, it wasn't even a fight. It was just the domination of the Flash was shocking by itself. But the but the introduction of Zoom was just so cool. It was one of the coolest moments in the entire show. I mean, when you see him, he's terrifying. I don't like the reveal too much. I like the first nine episodes of season two. But when that happened, I was shook. I was like, what, wait, whoa, 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 did Barry just get his back broken? Is, is Zoom Bane, is that like going to be the big reveal, you know? But seriously, Enter Zoom was absolutely amazing. It was a crazy episode. And I don't think a lot of people expected Zoom to be that powerful and to be that crazy, scary, and actually intimidating. Number two is a classic that I think a lot of people actually loved, and that's Barry getting his powers. Now we did see that, I believe, in Arrow uh, before we saw it in a Flash pilot, but when we saw it, it, it was just so cool. It was just so comic accurate. And although the particle accelerator thing happened, Barry doing this and then getting struck by lightning and falling into the chemicals, that's something that you would expect to see in, of course, a Flash adaption. And I loved it. It was so comic accurate. And in my opinion, it was probably the the greatest moment in season one besides the, the Harrison Wells stuff. Barry stuff, the Barry side of things, that was probably his best moment and the coolest moment. And it really drew in the fans. The first episode for, for sure was like a very comic accurate uh, interpretation of the Flash. And I think a lot of people love that moment when he got struck by lightning. Everybody was just like, yes, it's happening. It's happening. We're finally getting a good Flash show. And my number one is Reverse Flash Revealed. Listen, when when people figured out that Harrison Wells was the, the, the Reverse Flash in episode nine, it was crazy. I remember it. I remember people being like, holy crap, what? No, 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 this can't be real. This can't be a thing. Because people thought that Harrison Wells was just Harrison Wells. No one thought that he was actually Eobor Thawn. But, you know, it kind of, it started kind of interconnecting together and it was awesome. So when he got revealed in episode nine to be the reverse flash, everybody was just like, wait, 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 how does this, 
How does that work? What's happening? Why is he Harrison Wells? Why isn't he Eerborthon? Wait, wait, wait. What about Eddie? What's going on? <laughs> like everybody was freaking out. And it was it was the moment when like the Flash community kind of like came together. I think that's like the first time a lot of YouTubers started doing reactions to it, which I don't want to get into. And they started doing different types of videos for the Flash, like theories. And and it really sparked the the YouTube scene for the Flash and I loved it. It was it was like a dream come true seeing these characters brought to life by uh, the amazing Tom Cavanaugh and, and Grant Gustin and all of the cast of The Flash and Reverse Flash being revealed uh, at the end of episode 9 really was a cool and special moment for a lot of people because the charm and, and intelligence of Tom Cavanaugh's Harrison Wells and Eobard Thawne, it was just amazing. He played a great Eobard Thawne. I don't know who's going to play him in the Flash movie in Flashpoint, but they better top that and they better do it. They better try. They better try, try. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and click that like button. What's your top five moments in The Flash season one, two, three, whatever? Uh, the Flash season four is coming out very, very soon, and I'm going to be making as much videos as possible for it. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.